G'day, I'm Alistair Christie from LearnDelphi.tv. Uh, we're going to create a new multi-device application, we can file new, uh, or we could just do that. And we're going to have a play with TList View today. And I'm just going to align that to client, it's a nice and easy way of um, uh, laying it out. And add a C client data set. Uh, and we'll want to load some data into it. So if we go to the uh, sort of users public public documents in Bacadero Studio 18 samples data or whatever your latest version is um, and grab BioLife which is our uh, fish facts data um, we can then bind that uh, so if we go view live bindings designer um, we can first bind that up to sync so that they're synchronized together and uh, if we want the text to display the common name we can just link that up and we can see that's that's all all very happy so if I run that you see we've got our, our list of fish and we can resize and all that kind of thing so all is good now um, what I'm wanting to look at today, I, I was watching a video by uh, Serena DuPont on the new designer. So um, if we have a look at the uh, item appearance, um, we can change the item appearance from list item to dynamic appearance. So this is, this is uh, new in Berlin and I can then flip over to the design mode. So we see that um, we're still hooked up to item text for our common name, but if I run that, we'll see that it's uh, not displaying anything. We've still got all our fish being listed, uh, somewhat invisibly, um, but uh, item item text is no longer visible. Um, we can set that our appearance uh, back to. Uh, list item and that would all work again but let's go to dynamic appearance uh, and remove that link and hook it back up uh, to item 1 text and let's move let's go that up a little bit and rather than let's change the text line to uh, leading, so it's uh, on the left hand side there, and um, we will want to add another, so that's our, our common name, and so let's also add um, our species name, and to do that, uh, there's kind of this odd way of doing it that's very uh, not similar to anything else, um, where we can go in here and add a new text object appearance. So we've got this text item 2. No, uh, well, I want to resize that down, but uh, um, okay, so like that. Okay, so that'll do. And I'll also make that, uh, sorry, I'll make the text align leading and uh, so we've got the common name we can also link up the species name to that uh, uh, item dot text to uh, appearance and so now when you run that uh, we've got our common name and our species name uh, in each so but I want to move that up a little bit Let's move that out of the way so we can see what we're doing. So a bit more like that. Um, so let's let's just make the common name nice and big. So we'll go into the font. Uh, we'll make it bold, um, and it'll probably do it actually. And we'll indent this one a little bit.
Okay, so there's our, yeah, our, our common name is nice and obvious, and our species name is a bit smaller. And uh, uh, won't take our, our eye away from um, the, the common name quite so badly. Now we could add another uh, text object. And Exactly the same size. And to out to there. Oh, nice. Uh, and text to line. We'll go leading again. And let's uh, do that length in centimeters. So we can go back to our. Uh, well, it doesn't seem to have worked very well because <laughs> it's. Um, Attach it to the break. Let's remove that link. Link in centimeters to item three. No, okay. So uh, let's just shuffle it down a bit. That makes it a little more obvious as to where things are going. So we can take a look at that at, at runtime, and uh, it, all, it all works fairly well. Let's pop down the mouse wheel. Uh, back to design mode. Uh, let's add the graphic as well. Uh, so we come back to here, add a new image object, and that's now filling the whole whole thing. Uh, if we Resize that one, something like that. Uh, let's change that to trailing. Uh, position zero. Let's resize that again. If it will let me. So I'm thinking this is uh, zero. If I resize that. Okay, there we go. We'll do it. We'll set it manually, and we can have a look at the um, turn off the design mode, and let's link up graphic to uh, item dot image four. And eventually that'll, there we go. And it's kind of uh, overflowing the uh, selection. So um, let's go back to the design mode. Make that a little bit smaller. Let's see. Okay, can make another pixel higher, I think. Um, something like that. So, as you can see, customize, customizing our items is, is, is quite easy. Um, and I've got that aligned to the right effectively, so that it will always stay uh, on that right edge. Um, I can probably even make that slightly smaller. 60 pixels maybe, 75 say. Okay. So the other thing that I can do is we can hook up. So there's also the item, this is header. So I can take the category and hook that up to item text, or item header text. And if we run that, We'll see we've got Triggerfish, Snapper, Race, Angelfish, Cod. Um, so this gets changed every time, or gets printed every time it changes. Uh, 
So what we want to do is change the order of our client dataset. So index field names to um, category. If I can spell, and then common name. So uh, in fact, we can preview that quite readily. So, so there's one angelfish, and if we come down uh, to cod, we see we've got two different types of cod. And let's make the uh, the headers far more uh, obvious. So let's go in there and change the font. Let's make it much bigger. Let's go 16. And um, we can change the color as well. Maybe we'll just select one. Um, blue violet. Okay. So we've got two different kinds of cod. We have to go down to ray. There's a couple there, and there's some sharks. We go with three different snappers, and so on. So that allows us to sort of categorize our fish um, as well. So um, that's all I was want to show, wanted to show you um, of the uh, list view. Uh, I hope I'm not demonstrating my ignorance of FireMonkey too much, but um, I think this is it's pretty cool. Uh, it seems just uh, maybe a little bit buggy, um, the designer, but maybe it's just um, I'm not familiar enough uh, with how it works. Um, and yeah, it's, yeah, I'm not. It's, it's my. <laughs> um, yeah. Okay. Anyway, uh, let's finish there. Uh, I'm Alistair Christie. Thanks for watching.